In this video, we are going to study the crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes. We have studied crystal field theory which explained coordinate compounds, their bonding and their properties. Now the crystal field theory said that there is effect of field of ligands on the metal atom. Now we are going to study this effect on metal atom in octahedral coordinate compounds. Now we know that in octahedral geometry the metal atom is surrounded by six ligands. This is the transition metal atom and these are the ligands which have specific orientation in octahedral complex and this is that orientation in diagonal. Now, naming these orientation in space as coordinate axis, x axis, y axis and z axis. Now, we know that these ligands put on their field on the metal atom and we have explained it in previous video that this field affects metal atom. Now, this effect is seen in the valence orbital of the metal atom that means the d orbital because it is transition metal atom the valence orbital is d orbital so the d orbital get affected because of the field of these ligands now how do they get affected in octahedral complexes we know these are the 5d orbitals these are their orientations in space now at ground state when we are talking about ground state that means no ligand is present only the metal atom is present in space and nothing is affecting it it will have d orbitals and we know that in ground state the d orbitals all will have same energy so if we represent these d orbitals as this all will have same energy will be at same level and are called degenerate orbitals that means orbitals of equal energy but if we apply some field around this metal atom and let this field be symmetrical that means this field affects this metal atom equally in all directions what will happen because of these shapes there will be equal effect on the of the field on these orbitals and these shapes whether to be considered or not does not matter because the field is symmetrical and equal amount of field will be felt by all these orbitals and all will react in same manner and these this reaction of all these orbitals will be an increase in energy so when the metal atom is surrounded by symmetric field all the d orbitals of this transition metal atom will increase their energy and all will increase their energy in equal amount as represented here so this is representation of d orbital of the transition metal atom in ground state when it is not surrounded by any of the field this is the representation of the metal atom d orbitals when it is surrounded by symmetric field now moving in coordinate compounds in coordinate compounds the metal atom is surrounded by field but it is not symmetric because we can see in octahedral this ligands are present in specific positions this ligand will put its field on the metal atom it is present here obviously it will put its field directly along x axis here its field will not affect the metal atom accordingly as it was doing in x axis in in this direction so that means the effect of this ligand will be more along the x axis on the metal atom in comparison in this direction that is in between the axes we can see that all these ligands in octahedral geometry have an axis that means these two ligands are present along x axis that means the effect of these two ligands on the metal atom is along x axis in more in comparison to the plane similarly for these two ligands there is z axis 
that means they will also put on their field on metal atom along x axis along z axis and these two ligands will put on their field on metal atom along y axis that means the field in between the axis will be less on metal atom in comparison to all along the axis now watching the orientations of these orbitals what we get to know that if we take these two ligands these ligands will put their field along x axis now these two ligands are putting their fields along x axis they are not being affected much because they don't have their lobes along x axis they have their lobes in between the axis so these two ligands do not affect these orbitals more we can see these three orbitals for these three orbitals these two ligands are not putting their field if we see other two these are taking along z axis now their z axis is present this perpendicularly it does not have a lobe along this axis this was not affected similarly this does not have a lobe along z axis so it is also less affected because of this ligands similarly here no lobe is present along the z axis now moving on to the other two these are the two these are along y axis now no lobe along y axis no lobe along y axis and no lobe along y axis that means for all the six ligands these lobes are experiencing very very less field that means that these lobes will not raise their energy because of the field of the ligand now moving to these two orbitals if we take the ligands along x axis we can see there are lobes along x axis here also and here also that means these two orbitals will experience more field because of these two ligands moving on to the other two these two ligands now these are along z axis that means they are going to put their field along the z axis now this will experience some a little bit effect and this lobe experiences effect because it have their lobes along z axis moving on to the other two these are the now this will experience force because y axis similarly here so we can see that these two orbitals will experience more field of ligands in comparison to these three that means these three will react in same manner in comparison these two will react in different way in comparison to this so what happens these orbitals get splitted up these three form a set that means the energy of these three orbitals become equal because they are equally affected by these ligands so we can represent it that they experience less field that means they will not increase their energy and it will become a little bit less this less will not be less than the ground state we have to draw it a little bit above here this is a little bit higher than the ground state and these two orbitals will experience more field in octahedral complex because of these ligands so these two will increase their energy as shown here this set is degenerate set that means these two orbitals have equal energy this is given name eg and these three orbitals form a set of equal energy and they are given name t2 t now this shows that firstly the d orbitals were degenerate but after that they split up into two sets because of these ligands oriented in octahedral geometry and get splitting this splitting is called crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes so this is how all these orbitals are affected in coordinate compounds in octahedral geometry 